Tonight, after four decades in public office, Bill Nelson is returning to the federal government. Yeah, the Melbourne High School alum is being asked to become NASA's next administrator. News 6's James Barbero has a developing story on the Space Coast. We're going to Mars. Former Florida Congressman and Senator Democrat Bill Nelson talking like a NASA leader at an event in Melbourne five years ago. We will see the largest, most powerful rocket ever on the face of the planet. That rocket, the Space Launch System, passing the Green Run engine test yesterday in Mississippi. Now today, the White House is nominating Nelson to be NASA's next administrator. We have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia. 35 years after Nelson rode on the space shuttle, the SLS rocket is using refurbished engines and solid rocket boosters from the shuttle era. If confirmed by the Senate, Nelson, now 78, would lead NASA as it advances with the Artemis program. I think Bill Nelson's commitment and understanding of the U.S. goal to get to the moon is going to prove even more valuable now. When Nelson was a senator, Congress passed the 2010 NASA Authorization Act beginning development of SLS. Nelson would be in his 80s by the time Artemis III lands astronauts on the moon sometime after 2024. He's someone who has a great deal of experience, and it's exciting to see someone here from the Space Coast. He went to Melbourne High. I think it's very encouraging for most of us. Nelson would replace Republican Jim Bridenstine, who resigned as NASA's administrator when administrations changed. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.